Let's go. Be safe. Ready, go. Yeah. You deserve a rest. The free cities under sea? Are you buying or selling? Fine choice. Anything else? A fine choice. Anything else? A fine choice. Ah, not bad. It's a deal. Ah, not bad.
It's a deal. Got anything else for me? Ah, not bad. It's a deal. Take care. Here's your hide, as requested. I worried you might never return. Quickly, let me see it. Oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for, and more. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my means and your might, we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. I don't plan on making a habit of this. I'm busy enough as it is. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming of me to beg. Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide.
This is hide unlike any I've had the pleasure of handling. My clients will pay a fortune for the merest scrap. Martha's got a big heart. It's a pity there's so many who are happy to take advantage of it. Clive, just the man I was hoping to see. Oh? And why is that? You remember how some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akashic attacked? Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. I ain't daft after all. But we ain't got nowhere for him to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. I'd build them a new barracks here if I could. But where would I put them? There just isn't enough room up here on the rock. Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on to keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And it isn't just that lot. There's bears to think about too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately, coming from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. If it ain't too much of a burden, of course. It's no burden. Thank you, Clive. So, where were you thinking of making this new home? Well, I reckon we could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool? It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop it, we would have. But what's done is done. And those who lived there wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose you're right. The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one problem. A band of cutthroats have made it their den. And they don't seem like they'll be moving on in a hurry. Nasty bastards they are too. I've lost some good men to their raids. 
would have sent someone to clear him out sooner if my boys didn't already have their hands full fending off the Akashic. But now we've got a few more Guardians of the Flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made our move. What do you say? Fancy leading a raiding party? I do. Eastpool was once home to people I loved. I wouldn't have bandits sully those memories. I'll gladly drive them out of there. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own, too. Why don't you go and talk to him? Of course. Back to Eastpool, then. Not just yet. Let's hear Wade's plan first. <laughs> 